Hello everyone. So today it's going to be a chit chatty kind of video thing. Ignore the background. It's a little bit messy, but yeah, we'll live with it. Whatever. Um, yeah, I just came home from work and I thought I would do one of these get unready with me kind of videos. Um, yeah, it's not going to be overly interesting um, because I just come back from work. My makeup is everywhere. My nails are chipped to hell. Um, I just thought I would do a get unready with me video. Um, so yeah, nothing too interesting. You might see my dreads are gone. Um, I took them out on Friday night. In fact, it was like two in the morning <laughs> on Saturday morning. I took them out because I was like, it's going to be the warmest day of the year in the UK and I can't be dealing with the heat. So I was like, I'm going to take them out. And yeah, my hair seems to have grown like quite a bit in like I had them in for like 11 days or something and my hair seems to have grown a little bit it's still not as long as I want it to be but yeah I'm keeping the undercut even like as it grows longer because like my hair the thing that made me cut my hair in the first place is the fact that at the back um like it flicks out at the back and I ain't dealing with that it's like just at the nape of my neck where it does it and it pisses me off so I'm like I'm keeping the undercut so I want to hope that it will stay kind of straight instead of kinking out at the back which always really really annoyed me um yeah it's what day is it it's Monday today and yeah, I had the weekend off which is a rare thing but I didn't do anything because I was like no, it's too warm to do pretty much anything. Um, so yeah, it did like nothing. Um, apart from watch AEW, the um, what's it called? Fighter Fest. That was amazing. My boy John Moxley, what a lad. Um, and I got to see Jimmy Havoc as well. Um, I love Jimmy Havoc so much. Um, yeah, my eye for some reason. Um, I've just got this in the post, like it is one of the Givenchy. Um, I don't even know what it's called. Volume Disturbia. Little sample things. Um, and I just tried it on my eyelashes and it just went all over my lid. So I do apologise for that. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but looks like this. It's quite an interesting brush. We'll see how I get on with it. Um, other things that might be happening on the channel. Um, I ordered the Jeffree Star Jawbreak palette and i'm thinking of like doing a video which will be um a compilation of like 30 looks um or like a month long of just using exclusively the jeffree star jawbreak palette um and then like at the end of it like final thoughts kind of thing um i don't know how that would go but if you're interested leave a comment in the down bar and in the down bar in the comment section if that makes sense um so yeah just leave a comment down there and if you're interested i will definitely do it because i think it's quite a it's a big palette i don't know how many shades there are in it but um i've said before <laughs> i don't know if it was on a video that i recorded but then never uploaded um that like to me jeffree star was always a singer like as i was a teenager he was a singer I loved him as a singer and then like many years later it's like oh Jeffree Star's got this makeup line he's a YouTuber I'm like what? <laughs> so yeah it, it was all shocking to me I actually bought my first Jeffree Star lipstick the other day um, this is Mannequin and yeah I really quite like it, it doesn't last as long as I wanted it to um, I think maybe because it's one of the velour ones not a matte one um, but kind of really reminds me of the sugar pill one that I have. I don't know which came first or if they're made in the same lab or what, but they're like very similar. The sugar pill one really lasts. Um, this one's called Trifle, liquid lip colour. But this one's like a bit more matte than this one. Um, but yeah, if you want to see me do the Jeffree Star palette video, then let me know. Um, so I am going to get to taking my makeup off um, and I apologise for my skin in general. 
Um, I also apologise for the fact that I have no eyebrows. Um, like, I have little bits of eyebrows, but my our, my not uh, my natural eyebrows, they kind of finish here, and then this is just drawn on because my natural eyebrow just goes down like that, like it pretty much almost meets like the corner of my eye, and that ain't a good look. So, yeah. This morning I had such a mare trying to put my makeup on, like it legit just nothing would stay on my face. Um, so I ended up with this one, um, it's very very dirty, the uh, number 7 Hydroluminous thing, just putting a little bit of that on and then some of my uh, um, Laura Geller Bounce and Brighton whatever the hell it is. Um, so let's take off my makeup. Oh, my skin is so bad. Yeah, I used to get comments like, oh, your skin's so nice. It's like, no, it's just the camera. <laughs> Trick of the camera. Okay. So, yes, as you can see, my skin is very, very red. So yes, this is my horrible, horrible, horrible skin. Um, if anyone's wondering what I use, I use these now, which are the Bare Faced Beauty um, ones from Primark. And they're so cheap. It is um, a pound for two, which I really don't think is bad at all. And they are really quite nice. So... Turn it over to do my eyes. So as you can see, that is legit where my eyebrow stops now. Because I just I cannot do anything with my natural um eyebrows. I look so odd. I do apologize, but this is what you get when you um watch one of these videos. So these take off um eye makeup so well. Like, they do other um, face wipes, but these ones, these ones are the ones. They do like a hydrating one as well, which is really nice, but these ones, they're, they're by far the best. Okay. see how well they take off my eyeliner it's crazy oh good oh good yeah so I would definitely recommend those I have taken off um, waterproof mascara that I've had as well pretty easily try to get all the little bits of Okie dokie. There we go. That's my horrible, horrible skin. Ugh. It's so bad. Um, get rid of that. Then I am going to take one of these and my Estee Lauder perfectly clear toner stuff. Perfectly clear. Hmm. <laughs> my skin certainly is not. It is not glowy. <laughs> glitter on my face as well so talk amongst yourselves so you can see just how much these get off crazy so now my skin feels very soft now i'm going to move on to these which i've been using a few days and i'm not entirely sure how i feel about them yet um they are the 
Ibutan. I think that's, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but they are like a Korean kind of brand. Um, but they sent me three things to try. And apparently they're supposed to be like a skin regime. But I'm not sure what order to put them in. So I've kind of just been putting them on as and when. Now, okay. So, I like them. But the thing that I don't particularly like is the fact that these are um, made of glass. So you can see they kind of look like this. But then I can see this like it's not really an issue now because they're quite new. But like later on as you're getting down to the bottom of this you're gonna have to sit them upside down because i don't know you can't like squeeze a bottle that's glass to get the stuff out of the bottom if you know what i mean um so yeah that's one thing that really bothers me like it's already kind of hard to get the product out um but yeah, this one that I've just put on is the Softening softening Emulsion. And yeah, it's really nice packaging. Smells beautiful. Um, and you can tell that it's like Korean beauty kind of thing. Um, and this one is the Boosting Skin Gel. Um, again, this is one that is in another uh, one of these. This one, you can kind of see the bubbles in it. I think this one there's like hardly anything coming out like the product itself is really nice like but I don't think I've got enough there um it's just difficult to get it out of I also almost broke it you can also smash it if you're very very clumsy um so Stick that on there, my skin feels so soft. So, yeah, then this is the one that I can see myself probably using a lot more. It is the Intense Cream, and this is just a cream. And just put it on. Eyes. And this is like a really nice moisturiser. Makes your skin feel really plump and nice. Not that my skin needs any help at looking plump, but you get the idea. <laughs> okay. There we go. That is that um sorry if this is not a very interesting video um i don't expect that it is um to see my horrible face in hd like this i do apologize but yeah <laughs> i just thought i'd do one of these videos because i've not really done one before so i haven't done one before but it was many years ago i can't remember but either way thank you for watching please subscribe and i'll see you all again very very soon adios